Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this easy keto chicken sheet pan dinner. So today we are making a chicken sheet pan dinner. It is chicken and veggies, and we're gonna season it with a delicious curry seasoning. So the vegetables we're going to use are cauliflower and butternut squash. Do yourself a favor and go to the produce section and see if they have already chopped up butternut squash or you can chop your own, that's, you know, that's up to you. I buy it already chopped because that stuff is tough. So I'm gonna start chopping up my cauliflower. So I'm just going to cut it into florets. We're gonna get rid of the core. So you can make the florets as big and as small as you want. They don't have to be perfect, just kind of chop it up. We want this to be easy peasy. Okay, there's our cauliflower. We've got our butternut squash. So I've got a sheet tray here. Let's set the chicken aside. I'm just gonna put it on top of the cauliflower. I'm gonna line the tray with parchment paper. And a good tip to keep it from moving on the tray is to just crumple it up. Makes it a lot easier to work with. Just like that. And then we don't have to work so hard to clean up this tray. So I'm just going to rake the cauliflower onto the tray. That's a lot of cauliflower, lots of veggies. Okay, now I'm gonna pour on the butternut squash. So we've got, so we've got about three or four cups of butternut squash, and that was a, a small head of cauliflower. So, got that all arranged. Make sure you get all the seeds out of the butternut squash. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to assemble the seasoning for the sheet pan dinner. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of curry powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of kosher salt and a half teaspoon of freshly, freshly ground black pepper. So let's stir this up. So let's, I'm gonna put some of the seasoning on our vegetables and then the chicken. First, I'm gonna use some olive oil. So, I mean, avocado oil. Do just gonna drizzle a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil on our vegetables, two to three. And now I'm going to sprinkle some of the seasoning on the vegetables. And I'm also going to just go ahead and put more salt because you can never have too much salt on keto. Keep those electrolytes up. You don't have to do this. I like extra salt. And if you want, you can do extra pepper too. I can smell that curry powder. So now I'm going to lay the boneless, skinless chicken thighs on top of the vegetables. All of the juices and the fat from the chicken thighs are just gonna make the vegetables so good. Okay, set this aside. And now we can use our seasoning mix to uh, season the chicken so we not get a nice seasoning on our chicken. Make sure and use all of our seasoning see any bare spots. How easy was that? This is going to bake in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. You want to make sure that the chicken internal temperature is 165 degrees. Look at how good that chicken looks. The vegetables are perfectly tender. Let's get a taste and make sure they're perfectly seasoned. Make sure they've got plenty of salt. Mm. I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of salt just in case. Mm. 
Let's try some of our juicy chicken. It is perfectly cooked. Look at how juicy that is. Perfectly cooked. And we have a perfect weeknight dinner. You can serve this with a green side salad with dressing and you have a perfect dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, be sure you take, check out this recipe for keto beef and broccoli. It's super easy and family friendly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.